and welcome to Upload the Download. My name is Ben and today we're going to be looking at some free screen recording programs for Windows. So I've used all of these in the past and I'm going to go through and tell you which ones I use and which ones I'm currently using and which ones I like and all that jazz. So this first, just a brief overview, Taxi, open source. Fraps, 1.9, free, not open source. Xfire, uh, kind of like Steam, uh, IM Client, stuff like that. Cam Studio, well known in the free software world, open source. And Microsoft Expression Encoder, not so well known, but really cool. So <laughs> let's go through and have a look. So the first one that I'm going to show you is Taxi. Now this is the so-called equivalent to Fraps. This is the open source Fraps, as they say. And there's a lot of problems with it. This here, this is the app hook. And you're meant to be able to connect your game to Taxi so that it will record it. I cannot get it to work at all. It drives me nuts. I've tried hundreds of times t connecting it um, to a game and it just won't work. My brother, on the other hand, installed it first, t first try, clicked on that, clicked on his game, and it worked. So, you know... Why it hasn't been working for me, and where it's first go for him, I don't know, but you know, I'm not angry. The, uh, then again, the footage that my brother recorded with Taxi turned out, uh, it looked like it'd been recorded with a security camera. It was all glitchy and black and white, and yeah, it, I, I don't understand why, it's very funny. But, you know, I have actually seen some people that have used Taxi and actually gotten really good results out of it. Unfortunately, at the stage of development it's in, it's really difficult to actually get any good results out of it. If you go to their website, you actually see the last time they had a stable release was in 2006, and their developer release was released in 2010. So, you know, it's there's a lot of, you know, where's the development, people? I mean, it's just sad because this open source software could be so cool and owning and then we could be carrying on and telling all the people that pay for software that they suck. Yeah, I'm one of those people that actually paid for software, so damn it. So, now this next one is Fraps 1.9D. Now this is the last free version of Fraps before, uh, I think it's Beeper, started actually selling it for money. What else would you sell it for? Sex, no. So, <laughs> Fraps 1.9D. And similar, similar problem to uh, Taxi in that I can't actually get it to work. I've been pressing hotkey after hotkey after hotkey and it just won't record my game. It just doesn't, doesn't work. Um, it does, however, work on my brother's computer. So, yes. But the problem with Fraps 1.9D is A, it doesn't record audio and B, it only records um, screen size of about 640 to 480, I think. If we go to the help website here, video capture, 640 by 480, Jesus, I'm good. So, <laughs> yeah, so it, it records a very small screen size, so if you record it full screen, you'll get a tiny little chunk out of the middle of your game, which is, you know, nice. So that's Fraps 1.9D. Goodbye. This next one is called X-Fire. Here it is here. Now this is like, uh, it's actually quite handy because you've got a video recording program built in. You've got audio chat so you can have, you know, instead of installing Mumble, you could use this. Um, so it's pretty cool. So you can record videos, take screenshots, and all your games show up here. I actually have used this in the past to record Warsaw, and it was a bit laggy, unfortunately, but it's still pretty cool. Um, the file sizes are reasonably moderate, it's toned down, and if you're into uploading your videos to the X-Fire website to show off, you can do that as well. So that's that. So I'll just minimize that. So X-Fire is cool. Now of course I'll actually show a demo of all these screen recording programs. Um, I'll actually show what the result is. I'm going to try and record Warsaw, and I'll show you what each of them turns out like. So. That'd be cool. So, and this one here, this is Cam Studio. Whoops. I want the right one. There we go, that one. There's actually, this is the older version, this is the new version. So, this is Cam Studio. Now, you go to any. One sec, why is that still there? Go away. 
God. Bloody hell. My computer is so high end and yet it screws up. Can I press that and get rid of it? Ah. Uh, anyway, so this is Cam Studio. Now it's well renowned. Um, if you go to any forum and say, I need a free screen recorder, they'll say, hey, use Cam Studio. It's pretty good. Unfortunately, if you use it, it will look like you've recorded your game with a rendered potato. So, you know, it's not that good. It's, it actually, I mean, for screencasts, low quality screencasts that is, yeah, it's all right. I mean, it works. I'm not going to argue with that. I have used it a lot in the past. But for games, dream on, mate. <laughs> There's no way this works well for games. I mean, I've seen a few people attempt it with Minecraft, and it doesn't work. Sorry, folks. Nice. It just... What I'd like to see is because, you know, Cam Studio is open source, Taxi is open source. If the developers behind these two programs linked up and united and created some, you know, screen recording mega beast, that would be brilliantly good. But unfortunately, they haven't, so... Yeah, but Cam Studio is definitely good and tolerable for screencasts, but for games, there's no point even bothering. Uh, yeah, that's all I've got to say. And, like, screen screencasts also come out pretty dodgy, but, you know, it's got some good audio options and stuff, but, yeah, I, 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 no, nah. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> now, this last one is the one I'm actually using right now, and that's Microsoft Expression Encoder. Four. Now, not many people know about this, but here it is. I've actually got to show you a picture of it, unfortunately, because I am using it. God, that thing's driving me nuts. Can I? Can't get rid of it. Ah, buggery, buggery. So, <laughs> so here it is here, and it's got quite a few great options. You can set up frame rate. You've got 30 seconds or, you know... 30 frames a second, sorry, or 60 frames a second. It's got quite a few great customizable options. You've got quality settings. You can include a webcam. You can include, mul you can include multiple audio sources, uh, hot keys. It's really, really nice. Unfortunately, um, there's two things that really let it down. One is that it's got a 10-minute time limit of recording, and the other thing is that you actually have to convert all of your footage using Encoder 4. I've got the Pro, it says Pro version, it's not actually Pro, it's the student version, but the free version does the same same thing anyway, really. So, here's a little demo thing I just did earlier, just to test it out. And you actually have to go into here, Th this is how you get the best quality results, by the way. So you click on best quality, video, you go down to here and you click on VBR quality, you set the quality up to a hundred and yeah so that's how I normally get the best quality videos but it, it's really annoying because you have to render that out and then it it's just time consuming and annoying so there we go there's one two three four five free screen recording programs some of them work well for games some of them don't you'll see in a moment though which ones are oh my god go Ugh. go away go away go away stupid bloody <sighs> yeah so you can see what how the footage from these screen recorders turns out at the end of the video right after this I uh, hope you enjoyed the video if you've got some other free ones that work really well do let me know I've heard quite a lot about bandicoot and stuff like that but they leave a watermark that's my timer so I've got a Gotta go now, folks. Comment, rate, subscribe, uh, like, all that jazz. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.